when you got the call last week, what did you uh, think? What were your first thoughts? You know, I was over the moon. It's, it was my dream, and I think every every kid's dream to play for England. Um, so yeah, it was fantastic news. Luckily, I was with my family, so you know we were all together when I got it, which was which was really nice. It has been a whirlwind month for me. Um, obviously, yeah, the Arsenal players are here and they've helped me settle in well, which has been really helpful. And obviously, it was really nice to see Ricky again. I haven't seen him um, obviously since he's moved moved to Liverpool. So yeah, it was really nice to see him. We had a good catch up. Wembley's an amazing stadium, and and making my debut there, it just made it all better, really. Uh, I had all my family and friends there to watch as well, and it was a dream come true for me. Um, you know, it was a little bit nerve-wracking, but you know, I really enjoyed it when I got on the pitch, and uh, you now I'm surely going to be working hard to get to get uh, as many as I can. And you came on, you walked on that pitch. I mean, what was going through your mind at that point? Just excitement. I just wanted to get on there and, and kick a ball, <laughs> you know. Uh, as I said before, it's every kid's dream to play for England and at Wembley. So, you know, I just took it all in and really enjoyed it. And people are saying about the, the experience that yourself and the other young players can get over this two-year campaign. What have you picked up so far? Is there anything that you've, you've been able to add to your game? Um, you know, it's just training with, training with the boys here. You know, they're, they're all like players of such quality, so you're just going to learn little things in training. You can speak to the older, well, the more experienced boys as well, and you know they'll help you and give you and give you tips as well, which which is really nice. And obviously, we arrived up here to prepare for the important game on yeah. on Monday night. What are the messages that Roy Hodgson's been saying about Switzerland? Well, we know they're going to be a, a good team. Uh, they had a good World Cup and they got some really quality players, so we're not going to go into it thinking it's going to be easy because it's not. We've been working really hard over the last few days and over today and tomorrow to prepare ourselves well physically and mentally for the game. And so we're going to go into it knowing it's going to be a test, but we'll give it our all and hopefully get a result out of it. There's a lot of young talent in this England squad and it's really exciting. Um, you know, so I think every game that we play, you know, there's going to be excitement in it. Um, you know, the players have got a lot of flair. And uh, yeah, you know, I think we'll be, lo we'll be looking forward to a good game. Jack, back at St George's Park. Nice to be here after Wednesday's game. Yeah, you know, it's always nice to come back to St George's Park. It's like our home. You know, it's, everything's in one place. It saves getting on the bus and going to the training ground. So we're all here. We're going to be speaking to the, the press, you know, about Monday's game, maybe touch a little bit on, on Wednesday's win and, and see where we go from there. Is it something you uh, do quite a lot? Are you, are you used to it? Uh, well, we take it in turns. You know, it's quite, we've got quite a good bunch of lads here who are willing to to spread it out between us, you know, I mean, it's part and parcel of being part of the England team and, you know, some players enjoy it, some players don't, I'm one who, who enjoys it a little bit, you know, it's good to think, see what the journalists are thinking and see what the public are thinking, so, you know, we embrace it and, and have a good chat with them today. I'm not here. I want to be here. You've got cameras there. So have you. What do you make of your new teammate Danny Welbeck's performance in that last 20 minutes? Yeah, he, you know, he's got great enthusiasm when he comes on. You know, he, he wants to run. He's a willing runner. He'll track back, and you know, he's got great quality on the ball. You know, a lot of people don't give him credit if you like for his technical ability, but he's he's fantastic on the ball and he's a great athlete. So he's a he's a great addition to Arsenal, and hopefully he can keep performing for England as well. But Jack, you've done the done the press there. How was that? Yeah, it was good. You know, I mean. It's always interesting to see what their opinions are, and you know, I'm, I give my opinion back. And you know, we had a good chat. At the end of the day, you, know, you have to do these kind of things. You know, their their opinion matters. They're a big part of football, and you know, I, I like doing it. Was there any questions that they raised to you that you you liked or didn't like? Um, I did like the one about Welbeck. You know, I mean, obviously we've just signed Danny Welbeck, and you know, it's a great signing for us. And you know, as I said in there, some people. You know, don't give him credit for his technical ability, and you know he's fantastic. He's up there at the highest level with his technical ability. So I like that one. I could, I could get that out there, you know, and, and let people know his qualities. Yeah, I remember at the start of the the Euro 2012 qualifiers, and I was sitting down speaking to the journalists, and they were saying, you know, over the next couple of years, you're going to be more comfortable in this environment. You know, you're going to become one of England's big players, and you, know, you don't believe them. But you know, two years goes quick, and 
you know, you do feel more comfortable and you know, you take more responsibility on the pitch as well. So in two years' time, we're going to, everyone's going to be growing up a little bit more. Football's going to have changed a little bit, and you know, it's, it's exciting times. If we can you know, get a result on Monday and, and be in a strong position going into the next few games, we'll, we'll be all right. So your business is done. You can now concentrate on training tomorrow. What um, else you got planned today? Um, I think a few of us are going to go to the cinema and, and try and get some some time away and and for a couple of hours forget about. You know the game and and the training and just try and relax and you know and then as soon as we come back we'll have a team meet and we'll get back to business and we'll get back on the training pitch and and try and improve and get ready for the game on Monday. Welcome to Arsenal. How does it feel to be an Arsenal player? Uh, amazing. Uh, <laughs> I just can't wait to get started, to be honest. What appeals to you most about, about joining the club? Um, just the history of the club, the ambition, um, you know, everything about it. You know, the players of such quality here. You know, I felt it's a really good opportunity for me to come and push myself. How big of a consideration was the fact that, that so many young players seem to get an opportunity at Arsenal as well? Yeah, I mean, the manager's got a fantastic history of bringing through and nurturing young players, and especially from Southampton. As you see, Alex Chamberlain, Dio Walcott, so, you know, I'd just like to you know, have the opportunity to follow in their path and, and be as successful as they have. You mentioned Alex and Thea. How much of an inspiration are they for a young player coming through from Southampton? Oh, massive. You know, even from the young age in the academy, everyone looks up to them. You know, you want to be and, and do what they're doing. And what about Arsene Wenger? How, how influential was the, the chance to work with a legendary manager like him? Oh, you know, it was an opportunity I couldn't turn down. You know, he's... He's a fantastic manager and everyone, everyone can see that and to get the opportunity to work with him, you know, it's, it'll be amazing. Callum, you only made your first team debut on the, on the opening day of the last season. Now you find yourself a big move to Arsenal. Does it feel like a bit of a whirlwind for you? It has been a bit of a whirlwind in you know, eight months, I think. Um, you know, I've, tried, I've managed to keep my feet on the ground and, and working hard. Um, so, as you said, it's been, it's been quite, a, quite a mad eight months. How would you sum up your first season of Premier League football? I loved it. You know, uh, every experience I got, um, it, it's such a good feeling to go out at such an occasion and play against players of such quality um, and you know, I just want to keep doing it more and more. How much of a step up was it from what you've been used to? How, how, how big is that adaption process? Massive, from under 21s to first team football, um, you know, such a big step. Uh, I think more mentally and physically, you know, mentally challenging you know, over the Christmas period as well. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's you know, very challenging. You've been at Southampton since the age of eight, just how important have they been as a club for your development? Um, very important, you know. I'd just like to thank all the coaches that, that taught me at such a young age, um, that you know, that gave me this opportunity to come and and uh, and play for Arsenal Football Club. So, you know, it's it, you know, it's it's a great club, and you know, all, it's set up very well, and all the young players there have got such a great opportunity. I think I'm right in saying he used to be Ricky Lambert's boot boy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> how strange is that to end up playing in the same team as him? It was strange. You know, I cleaned his boots for I think two years. Uh, you know, he he was very nice to me. Um, but yeah, no, it, it was strange coming and playing through with him. And you grew up along the side, uh, alongside the likes of Luke Shaw and James Ward-Prowse. I mean, what what is it about Southampton that just seems to keep on producing and producing such amazing young talent? Yeah. As I said, you know, they've got a great youth system, um, and and all the coaching staff and everyone there is uh, are really good. And as you said before, I played with Luke Shaw and James Ward-Prowse since the age of seven, I think. So we've grown up together, so we all know each other inside out. So to come through and play for the first team, it was, it was a dream come true for us all, really. Unfortunately for the club, they seem to have lost quite a few players this summer. I mean, how confident are you that that production line will keep on rolling and they'll, they'll be fine? I'm sure it will keep on rolling. You know, with the, you know, the structure and that of the academy, they'll produce more players.
You were initially a midfielder, so can you tell us how, how did you end up at right back and what was that journey like? Um, I was a midfielder about a year and a half ago for under 21 centre midfield. I saw an opportunity in the first team at right back, so I thought for my, for my progress and benefit it would be best to move back to right back and use everything I'd learnt in midfield, like first touch, scanning and all that, and bring it into right back. And, uh, I, I learnt how to play that under 21s. I went through the games after uh, after each game. I went through it with the coach, and we went through little bits what I could improve on, and just grew up, grew from there really. And you said you said the manager also sees you perhaps as a centre half at some point in the future. I mean, how comfortable are you playing there? No, I feel comfortable there. I played there with England under 19s, and I enjoy playing there as well. Um, so so we'll see. And finally, do you have a do you have a message for the Arsenal fans at all? Um, you know, just I'm, I'm excited uh, to play for this club, and you know, one of the biggest fan bases in the world. So I can't wait for the first game to go out and, and hear the crowd, and, and you know, play my first game. So welcome to Arsenal, Mathieu. How do you feel? Uh, um, I'm so excited. Um, to be here uh, to to play for for Arsenal. Okay, and why did you choose Arsenal? Um, because Arsenal is a big club, you know, with the the fantastic player, and um, um, I want I want to play with Arsenal. And we won the FA Cup last season. Was that a big factor for you to come here? Yes, as, yes, as well. Um, um, Arsenal win the won the won the trophy, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, the, the next season uh, he will win uh, uh, the trophy again. Okay, and was Arsene Wenger a big influence in your decision to come here? Yes. Um, Asen Wenger is a, is a great uh, gaffer and with a uh, with big experience in the football. And, yeah. uh, well. Okay, and last question, do you have a message for the Arsenal supporters? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm so happy to be, to be here and sing for Arsenal and uh, I'm so excited to play for Arsenal.